for the birds. Perhaps you've heard someone dismiss something by saying it's for the birds. Shopping in real life is for the birds. Online shopping is so much better, your partner might say, after a tiring day at the mall. A teenager might be showing her parents some new and confusing technology. And what good will this do anybody? It's for the birds! Maybe your cousin looks in your kitchen cupboard and finds your stash of herbal supplements. All these pills are for the birds. They're just placebos. It's easy to understand that the idiom for the birds means that something is useless, worthless, trivial, uninteresting, fake, or only of interest to the gullible. For the birds can be found referenced in many texts throughout history, but was popularized during World War II by U.S. servicemen. It was a euphemistic shortening of shit for the birds, something that neither you nor I would want, but that the birds would peck at in order to find seed. Two related idioms, bullshit and horseshit, are used in the same way as for the birds and reference the same brown piles you'd often find on the street in the days before the automobile. Bullshit and horseshit, however, are more often used to label something someone said or a situation. Whereas for the birds is only used to label a tangible object or service. Since World War II, For the Birds has come to be used to describe anything that you think is undesirable, lousy, of small worth, or just plain stupid. Social media is for the birds. Why waste your time not really connecting to people, one of your friends might say. Perhaps your friends are going to the beach. You may think sunscreen is for the birds, but you'll regret it if you get sunburn. Living in an apartment is for the birds. I don't even have a yard for gardening, your cousin might tell you one evening at her place. So, whenever you want to let it be known that you think something is valueless, boring, stupid, garbage, or irrelevant, don't forget to say that it's for the birds.